Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a nice bricks day here in the fall and we're out to go pick some pumpkins. We grew some pumpkins at home. I'll show you those. But what we also want to do is add to that collection so we can carve up some jack-o'-lanterns. We're in this fall season and that's always an exciting time. It is a windy day out here today. It's a bit cold. So we may have to cut this a little short, but I still want you to come along with us. Let's go pick some pumpkins. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. So we have been picking pumpkins for years. We've been doing it since the kids were little, since the oldest kids were little. And we try to do it every single year. We got the twins with us now. We didn't do it last year because they were really young. But this year, we have them in the wagon, which they love their wagon. And this is a nice farm shop. I think this is a nice place to go. I looked it up. It's right outside of Birmingham. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun today. Should be a lot of fun. I love picking pumpkins. I want to get some big ones. They also said they had a lot of different colors here, shapes and sizes. And I love their variety, which is the other reason we came to this location. So they have a farm shop here. We may check out the farm shop on the back side, but you have to pay for your time ticket to entry for pumpkin picking, right? And uh, since we have to do that, we have a 12 p.m. showtime, and it's right at 12. So we want to go right over here and, and take care of this. All right, tickets. We already picked up our tickets. I bought those before we get left home because you have to, again, you have timed entries. That's time entry. So these pumpkins will be the ones that we cut for jack-o'-lanterns, right? We want some jack-o'-lanterns this year. Matthew said he wants jack-o'-lanterns, right? Right? So we're going to get some pumpkins to cut for jack-o'-lanterns. It's a farm ride to take us down, but there's a 15 minute wait. I'm like, well, we could walk. Ooh. Maybe it is waterlogged. Oh my goodness. Hold on, Trey. Let me take it for a second. Let me take it over. Oh my, hold on. This is really, really muddy. How do we get around this? Okay, so that was our first mini adventure was getting around this massive mud hole. Oh boy. So I wish they'd given us a bit of warning that it was really, really muddy down here. And we may not have come this way if we'd known, but so be it. We're here now, and we just had to fight through the mud. Yep. Yep. We step down. Let's stay on this side. Let's stay on this side until we get past all the mud. But here's the patch. This is what I wanted, though. Okay. Yeah. Keep go. Let's go right over here. There we go. That's an adventure. <laughs> okay so we made it past all the mud and now they did say when we first arrived that the uh, patch pumpkin patch was a bit waterlogged and i can see that now what they mean by waterlogged but we're here and it's a it's a nice size patch too you know it on the line they advertise this is 50 50 acres of pumpkins Okay, here we have pumpkin prices. So for the really large ones, those are $10.50. Normal size is $7.50. Those little ones are $2.50. Mid size, I guess, it's $5.50 and then $3.50. So there's some decent prices. All right, let's kind of, let's just dig into it. Let's go. I like the scarecrows that they have up. Oh, we got to avoid, that we had to avoid the tractor tracks. So the tractor tracks are filled with mud. We'll just cut straight through here. And you can see the little pumpkin plants, what's left of them. But they already cut the pumpkins. Now I have gone to pumpkin patches where you have to cut your own pumpkins. They get you a serrated knife. A little dangerous, but this works. Okay, this little area here where we are has already been pretty much picked clean. But I see a lot of pumpkins farther down in here. <clears throat> so we're gonna head, yeah, just keep heading this way. And we get deeper into the patch, we can find some cool pumpkins. We had to get near this scarecrow, which is a werewolf, and here, right behind it, here's a lot of pumpkins from here on. So let's leave the babies right here for a second, leave the wagon right here. 
This is our first rally point by the werewolf scarecrow. Who's, who's gonna stand with the babies? It does, cause he's like an evil werewolf. You know, we're in that season. So we can keep the babies with us, but look, see like here, here's some pumpkins on the vine right here. This is what I like to see. So here's a pumpkin. Yeah, still on the vine there. And then here's one on the vine here. And so, and then there's more scattered across there. So big kids, first off, go find a pumpkin that you want to cut into a jack-o'-lantern. Make it a pretty good size one. We didn't come out here to get little pumpkins. Go pick out you a good size pumpkin. Yeah, but that's too easy. You don't pick the one right beside the wagon. Go out amongst the pumpkins and find one. Leave the wagon. Leave the wagon. Go find a pumpkin and bring it back. You don't pick the first one you see. Put it down. Find the perfect pumpkin. Not just any pumpkin. You have to be more discerning. You're looking for the right shape, the right size, the right color. But every one of you pick a big one that we're going to cut and make up your jack-o'-lanterns. That looks good. That looks good. Take it back to the wagon. So I'm going to just wander off over here and uh, yeah, just looking and seeing for myself what all we have out here. There's a lot of pumpkins. Here's a patch right here. I would like to find some of those smaller ones, but these are really good size for cutting jack-o'-lanterns. Especially, say, let's take this one. Look at this pumpkin here. Look at the size of that. Good size, good shape. That's a good jack-o'-lantern cutting pumpkin. So we'll do that with the kids. Oh, here's some smaller ones here. There's a nice small pumpkin right there. And yeah, and there's some little ones like still on the vine. You know, you get down low. <laughs> That's a tiny one still on the vine. It's not even green, so it's not really going to work well. Oh, this rain is coming back. But we're out here now, so we're a little committed to it, at least until we pick our pumpkins. But it is starting to rain on us a little bit now. We all have coats for that. You know, for myself, oh, here we are. Look at this. You got to look for that perfect pumpkin. And I feel like this is a good size. Oh, nope, doesn't have a top on it. I guess you want it to have a good stem and that stem's broken off. So not that one, let's keep looking. Didn't know it was gonna rain on us today, but so be it, we're out here. We've all been wet before. A little bit of water won't hurt. Oh, here we are. This is a perfect pumpkin. Matthew, come get this one right here. That's a good one right there, I like that one. Yeah, get that one, get that one, that's a good one. So now y'all, quickly, go off down that way, right down there, and look for some little ones. Take that one back, Matthew. All right, so we have seven. That's seven good looking ones there. We're gonna let the other two brothers go and see if they can find a small one. And after that, we'll probably head back because we are literally just getting rained on at this point. Rained on, rained on, rained on. The baby's out in the rain. It's a little cold out here, so we're gonna head back. Even though we're getting rained on and everything like that, that just makes for the memories. This is the twins' first time to a pumpkin patch, so we we're really excited to do this as a family. Okay, so the rain has stopped for the moment. It was raining on and off, on and off, but it stopped. Uh, we're gonna walk around the pumpkin patch a little bit more. We're looking for some tiny pumpkins. We want some small ones. Uh, we got some nice ones for carving, and we want some small ones to kind of have sit on the mantle. We have some that we've grown that sit on the mantle. Again, I'm gonna show you those, but here we have a wagon load of pumpkins, guys. It's nine. How many we have in here? Nine. Nine pumpkins. Okay, let's make let's work our way back up. I counted them three. So here's some old hay and look like some dirt and draw and different things and this is gonna turn into a beautiful pile of mulch over the next couple years as they keep adding stuff in. Yeah, this is gonna break down and they'll be able to use this recycling those nutrients across the farm really old patch right there yeah that's what i thought so this is the remnants of strawberries because i'm looking here I'm like those are like strawberries and they are so i bet you earlier in the year they grew strawberries here and here's the, what's left that was in the trays and then they brought the trays and they dumped it out here because we passed strawberry season and all of that material is going to turn into mulch but yeah here's some old strawberries and uh hay and different things and you reuse that over, over the farm over many years Blair is voting one of the pumpkins off the island. Blakely, remove the offending pumpkin. Place it along the side by his brethren. Trey, get it. Okay, yeah, remove the offending pumpkin and place it over here on the side by his brethren. Thank you, Count. He's the Count. He is the Count. You can always use the muddy water over there. Ooh. <laughs> 
Okay, so in the choose your own adventure of this garden pumpkin patch, there's the harder variety, which we chose, which is the muddy route, and you gotta do all this, and there's also a much easier pumpkin patch. But, you know, coming out here, I felt like that was too easy. They picked the pumpkins, they laid them all out, and you can just walk out there across the grass. Of course, our shoes would still be clean, but we wouldn't have the memories. Of course, Blair got hurt. She got hurt. Hurt. Yeah, grabbed hold of some barbed wire. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of that. But it was a bit more adventurous, but there are more pumpkins here. They have, a, it looks like a, a long, yeah, it's a hoop house. They have a long hoop house and there are other pumpkins in there. Cause I thought there were more varieties here and I can see them. So let's go, I'll show you what this other pumpkin patch, which we could have gone to the easier pumpkin patch looks like. And then we'll take a walk through the hoop house and pick up some really unique, different color pumpkins besides just the uh, big orange ones that we have right now. And here's the much easier pumpkin patch. We probably should have chose this option. It's just as pumpkin-y and uh, just as easy. A couple of nice scarecrows placed up here with a Halloween theme. So, in a choose your adventure, this is a much easier adventure. This is the novice starting zone. But I like the one we did a little better. It was more memorable. Trey, why would you pick the shortest one? Push your head further through. Not all the way through. You guys look like worms sticking out of the pumpkin. You've been, uh-oh, Matthew's left. Oh, they're switching. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. And that's more appropriate. There we go. Hold on, look closer. There we go. Good. Okay, so now we have to get the babies into a pumpkin. Okay, we have a Malachi with a... There we go. Yeah. Kai, there we go. Hey, Kai. Gotcha, buddy. All right, so this is cool. We have some uh, different sizes and shapes in here. These green ones are cool because you know you can actually eat those. Let's take a look and see what all we have here. We got some nice pumpkins, some nice striped ones. I like these 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 really like really dark red. These really dark red ones are cool. Um, yeah. Which one you want to get? Okay, get one of the red ones then. Here are the really cool green ones, and I think it's a little lumpy, but I think this is a good one for the green ones. Okay, so this is the final. Is this it? Is this the final pumpkin haul? This is it. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go pay. Oh, I didn't see you carving them over here. Uh, about how long does this take to carve one? Um, I'm not carving them for the public. I'm just carving them for the show. Oh, you're just carving them? Oh, yeah. it's too bad. I would love to get one done. These are beautiful. Let's take a quick walk through the farm store. Okay, so they have some pumpkins in here if you don't want to go outside. There's a few more in here. Oh, wow. Classic farm store. Look at these fresh vegetables. It smells great in here. There's another carved pumpkin. Uh-oh. Oh boy, look at this. Fresh squeezed juice. It doesn't look like oh, orange juice is all sold out, unfortunately. Nice potatoes. Look at these dark potatoes here. Some sweet potatoes. Yeah. Some pasties. That looks good. Vegetables. Parsnips. Wow, so normal sized parsnips, some giant parsnips, and dirty carrots. I like that. Dirty parsnips and dirty carrots. I love that. You know, the things that are dirty actually last a little longer. When you wash them, they spoil sooner. But if you leave them dirty, you can store them and they'll actually last a lot longer. That, that definitely works for potatoes. Here's some nice fresh meats packaged up here. That beef looks nice and fresh. And here's some pork crackling. Wow. In the butcher shop here. Look at all these wonderful, wonderful meats. Already marinated, sauteed. Oh, that looks wonderful. Oh, look at these bacons. Grandpa Bill's bacon. Dry cured, mindless back bacon. Sausages. Just a lot of great farm shop options here. And they're doing a brisk business in here as well. And then this last bit over here is gonna be some crisp and ice creams. Jellies and jams across the back. 
Yeah, this is a full-fledged farm shop. Really nice. Okay, so we've purchased some pumpkins, walked through the farm store, and let's take these home and add these to the pumpkins that we have on the vine and the ones we've already cut at home and just kind of line them all up and see what we have. So this is what we decided to do with the pumpkins. Set them out here. Now I'm going to rinse them off get a little bit of mud off of them. We grew this one here at the house. This is one that we grew here. We don't want to carve them just yet. It's really early October. We want to give it a little more time. We grew this one here as well. And we have a couple of smaller ones that we grew, but the large ones we're going to sit out here. We're going to add a couple more. And I want to show you some really large ones that we have around the back. So I was on a mission to grow a giant pumpkin this year. It didn't happen, didn't come to be, but I did manage to get some pretty nice sized pumpkins. And I want to show you some of those. And here's the pumpkin patch, what's left of it. It's late in the year, but this is one that I have here. I think this is a pretty good sized pumpkin, right? I'm going to probably give this another couple days or so, and then I may cut that off. I think it's about finished. The patch is looking a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. It's the end of the season. Uh, we have another pumpkin right here, which got to be a pretty decent size. Here's one. We have this one, and tucked away all the way at the back is this one which also got to be a pretty good sized pumpkin so i'm going to cut those off in probably another week or so i think they're about done you can see the colors starting to darken down into a darker orange and the vines are starting to die back so we're getting to the end of the pumpkin season and i wanted giant pumpkins they're not giant but those are still going to be some pretty like those two there the larger ones i think they'll be you know maybe 15 pounds 10 15 pound pumpkins now i have a smaller one here that i need to take out and get this one out. I'm gonna cut that one off and probably set it up with the others. Here's another one that's gonna be really knotty, has all those warty bumps on it, and we grew this one as well. Okay, so we have the pumpkins that we wanted to pick here. We're setting them up, and I think it's gonna be really pretty right here, just having around this little circle. But let's go and harvest the pumpkins that we managed to grow here. I wanted to grow giant pumpkins this year. I didn't manage to grow giant pumpkins, but I got a couple of them that still got a pretty good size on them. And let's go pick those, harvest those, and set them up here with the other pumpkins. Okay, so here's the first one we're gonna harvest. It's a pretty pumpkin, has a nice yellow color to it, and we're gonna weigh it and see how much it weighs. All right. Oh, it's pretty hefty. So let's go weigh this one. Okay, so let's see how much this first one weighs here. Hold on, let me lay it down. Let me weigh it, weigh it in. See what we get? 20.6 pounds. That's good. That's a 20 pound pumpkin, 20.6. It's not even the biggest one. Okay, so here's a smaller pumpkin and this is one of those ones that's really warty. It's not gonna be really big, so we're not worrying about weighing it, but I'll go ahead and cut it. It's nice, got a little warts on it. So this one has a little bit of orange on it. It's gonna turn all the way orange now that we've cut it and we're gonna set it up with the others. We're not gonna weigh this one because we know it's smaller. It's not gonna get that big, but we have a couple other ones that dig it a bit larger. Let's go get those. Okay, so here's the next one and it's not as big. I mean, we could tell that it's not that big. That's probably about 10 pounds. If the other one was 20, this one's probably about 10. There's no reason to weigh this one. Let's sit this in there with Kenzie. Yeah, so the smaller ones can sit in here with Kenzie. Okay, so here is the second largest pumpkin that we grew. And let's see what we get out of this one. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot heavier. This one is a lot heavier. If the last one was 20, what do you think this is going to be? 40. That's what we're thinking. Let's see. And it is 28.5 pounds. 28. 0.5 pounds. Although I didn't come anywhere near close to getting the size pumpkins that I wanted this year. The largest in the world are around 2,800 pounds, 20, 2,900 pounds. Like they're really large, getting close to 3,000 pounds. And I'm only clearing about 28. But this is my first time. So it's the largest pumpkins I've ever grown. Now let's go in and get our largest pumpkin of the year. Ugh. And let's see what we have here. It's a, it's a, it's a big one. I think it's definitely going to be over 30 pounds. Ugh. Here we go. This is the largest pumpkin that we grew this year. Year. look at that it's a good size great for carving look at this all right let's go weigh this one okay so we have a 20 pounder what was the second one okay 28 20.6 20.5 and here's our last and biggest one it's a nice size little pumpkin as scales turned on what's your estimates on this one 40 pounds i don't think so guys probably about 32 let's go for 32 let's see and we are at 29.4 yeah 29.4 so what was the overall objective for today well i love supporting local farms so to go out to a farm and pick some pumpkins i think that's supporting local agriculture i think that was a great experience i love giving experience to myself and for the kids they got to see what it's like to have a large package of pumpkins and what it looks like to grow pumpkins in a large environment like that on a smaller scale we did it here at home we grew some really nice ones so they have the commercial version of it and then the at-home version of it either way we end up with a lot of great pumpkins we'll carve them up here later on in the season so i think it's a really a good day for me myself and the kids to learn and increase our experiences get a little more knowledge about agriculture and farming get a little more knowledge about fun and just having a great time as a family together hey if you like this content be sure to like and subscribe and until next time take care mm -hmm.